Good day, and thank you for visiting my channel, Coin Lady. Almost everyone here is probably already aware that John Deaton, an attorney, is vying to succeed Elizabeth Warren as the senator from Massachusetts. And I wanted to give you a little update because the level of support that former attorney and current U.S. Senate candidate John Deaton has received is absolutely astounding. Strong Assistance To defeat Senator Warren, who is openly and categorically anti-crypto, literally millions of dollars have been thrown around to support John Deaton. If she had her way, crypto wouldn't exist, and we wouldn't have the chance to become filthy rich. She's the worst thing that could happen to the cryptocurrency industry. Bitcoin, XRP, or any other digital currency backed by a central bank, makes her happy. Not at all. Again, no. So, there's this fascinating tale. Additionally, a great deal has transpired. Some of them, like Mark Cuban, the billionaire, I brought up recently. In a recent story, it was reported that Mark Cuban's attorney, John Dean, is receiving a $1 million donation from Deaton in his Senate race against Warren. This sum will undoubtedly benefit attorney John D.T., whether it goes directly to his campaign or to a super PAC. In this particular instance, it went to the super PAC. The Winklevoss family now has a plural form, Wink Levi. You possess the Wink. To help their attorney, John Deaton, beat her, the Winklevoss twins gave him $1 million. Plus, I'm only going to talk about one item in this video, because Tyler Winklevoss wrote this post about it. I'm going to give you the full text of the post because it's so good. Additionally, I would want to bring attention to the fact that this is the case since it is just mind-blowing to me. John Deaton is an XRP community member who has tirelessly battled for years to safeguard not only all cryptocurrency, but also the XRP holders in particular. It is possible that John's experienced a serious injury. Someone from the XRP community could end up in the Senate. In my opinion, that is really incredible. Wow, what a remarkable narrative. From complete unknown to crypto superstar in the space of a few short years, here is the story of how crypto has been able to shield its members from harm for quite some time. Wasteful of his time and resources. If this story ends with him finally vanquishing Senator, I will never, ever believe a thing I've heard. Not to mention that it's been quite some time since I last provided an update. I figured it would be a good idea to give you an update on this front in a short Sunday video. Also, I'm sure you've heard by now that something has occurred. But. It has been announced that Joe Biden will not be running for president. Re-election is not on his agenda at this time. This is not a political channel, so I will refrain from commenting on it. Still, I find it utterly intriguing. He is endorsing his vice president, Kamala, but what happens next is anyone's guess. Despite their words about crypto in the past few months or so, it's actually quite anti-administration. What now? We've reached an inflection point. Is a shift in the works? Will we witness a government that is pro-crypto? Or will we rid ourselves of Elizabeth Warren, the worst possible thing that could happen to crypto? Well, we're going to find out about that. Tyler Winklevoss is the author of this post. Additionally, he begins by mentioning that he donated $500,000 worth of Bitcoin. His identical brother similarly made a shorter message in which he donated $500,000 worth of Bitcoin. So, have a look at what Tyler wrote. This is the most amazing stamp ever, and he explains why he's rooting for attorney John Deaton, who is part of our XRP community. View this now. I recently gave John Deaton $500,000, 8 Bitcoin, to help him remove Elizabeth Warren from her seat in the US Senate. You'll see why I say this. Among the many dangers to American wealth, Elizabeth Warren ranks high. She is often regarded as the archenemy of the crypto community. She is the brains behind the Biden administration's anti-crypto campaign and its chief architect. Through a mix of exposing bad faith enforcement actions and other abuses of power, she exploits government agencies as weapons in this illegitimate battle on our sector. When Vice President Biden reached out to Senator Warren to endorse his 2020 presidential campaign, the chaos started. In exchange, President Biden granted her the power to veto any of his nominees for regulatory agencies. 
Now, this is truly remarkable, folks. This had never been sighted before. Well, have a look at this. It's not a coincidence that she seems to have a lot of control, even over Gary Gensler. View this now. One consequence of this Faustian pact was that Elizabeth Warren became the de facto head of economic policy for the United States, replacing Joe Biden. Second, she is the true owner of all of his agency appointments. Because of this, the heads of these agencies do what she says. Their political future is in her hands because she installed them. Did anyone here recall a hearing that took place, oh, maybe a year or two ago? The passage of time has rendered me unable to recall the details. From what I can tell, she had prepared a long list of questions for Gary Gensler, but I can't quite put my finger on them. The whole thing is nothing more than a performance. I don't care. In any case, Tyler keeps going. Here you may see Elizabeth Warren's army, as she put it together. Included in this group are despicable, dishonest, and unscrupulous individuals such as Martin Greenberg, head of the FDIC, and Gary Gensler, head of the SEC. These unelected bureaucrats serve as both her allies and her enemies. She commands them to use the authority of these agencies, and they do it for her. Under her watch, the SEC has relentlessly probed the cryptocurrency industry and filed a plethora of enforcement actions against law-abiding citizens. Thank you for watching my channel and for subscribing. I'll see you later.